everyone. Today we are going to make chicken curry. This chicken curry was given to me by a friend who was from India and we cooked a number of times together had a great time and it's really great. My family loves it and we're going to get started. So let's go with the ingredients. One of the first things we need to do is get our chicken ready. I cut off some of this fat. And we're going to make chunks, bite-sized pieces. And I happen to have something here. I'm just going to rest them in there for a while. And what I have in there is water, uh, chicken bouillon powder, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and um, a number of different flavors. But you can do whatever. You can not do that. Now here are the ingredients. I will add more ingredients as we go along, and I'll let you know if I do. But uh, we're going to start off by putting here some allspice here. We have some cloves right here. Got some mustard seed right there. I've got pink salt and pepper. That's fresh pepper. Use whatever you like. We have garlic buds chopped up, smoked paprika, and be regular paprika. And over here we have onion powder and garlic powder. Here we have some powdered chicken bouillon. We have cumin here, about uh, a tablespoon. And here we have about a tablespoon of curry. And we have a half a teaspoon of turmeric there. Here's the curry that I've used. I'm gonna put in some onion and some broccoli, some cabbage, probably a little more cabbage. Than that, a bell pepper might, might add some tomato right here. And here is marjoram. Now, you most people won't have marjoram, and that's just fine. Just put maybe a tablespoon of oregano. Here's thyme. This is fresh. You can use dried if you want. And here is ginger, fresh ginger. If you have powdered ginger, go ahead and use that. The fresh, I'm going to scrape that off and we're going to grate that up. All right, we're going to get started. We're going to use olive oil, of course, the chicken. And we'll show you how we're going to do it. And of course, then we have about three potatoes that I have peeled and I've sliced long ways. And that will go into the pot. Now we've got a hot pan here. We're going to add some olive oil. On the bottom there and as that heats up we're going to kind of let that get to where it's shimmering a little bit and into the pot we're going to put the allspice cloves and mustard seeds and have a uh, gonna have a lid close by because sometimes the mustard seeds get carried away and jump out of the pot gonna turn our fire down a little bit put that up like that here it go there they go you want to stir them. I'm going to put some bay leaf, two bay leaves, a cinnamon stick. Stir that up. Keep it going. I'm going to add some ginger. I'm going to grate that on my grater. I'm going to turn this way down. And to this we are going to add our curry and turmeric. Cook that for just a few seconds. I 
Then I'm going to put the ground paprika. Cook that for a few seconds, stirring the whole time. And some cumin. It's about a teaspoon of cumin. To that, we're going to add our onions and garlic. We have about one onion and three or four garlics. Gonna stir the onion up first, let it cook in there. comes the garlic. Make sure you stir the whole time so the garlic doesn't burn. To that we're going to put the potatoes in so they can start soaking up that flavor that we just put in. Mix that up so those curries, all of those spices get mixed in here. A little bit of water. We have the chicken marinating. And we're going to take it out. Turn the heat up a little bit. I've had the potatoes cooking a little bit and the chicken in this juice. Now we're going to add some going to add some bouillon, chicken bouillon. Going to add some onion powder and garlic powder. We're going to have salt and pepper. Stir that up. Looking good. I'm going to throw the thyme in there and the marjoram. We'll pull those stems out after the fact. I'm going to add more water and I've probably got a total of two cups, something like that. Mix that in there, get that heat coming back again. And I want to taste to make sure I don't have too much salt. We're going to add just a little more water.
And now I'm going to put in some chopped tomatoes. It's probably a total of one tomato. Let that start cooking. Now cabbage is one of the main ingredients and we love lots of cabbage and you can leave any of these ingredients out that you don't like. It's okay. So we're putting in lots of cabbage. that up. Get it submerged. It's going to shrink down. We want those flavors to get all in that cabbage as well. I'm going to add a little more water. Probably a total of four cups. We've had that boiling on a low heat for about 30 minutes. And now we're going to add some bell peppers. It can be red, yellow, green, orange, whatever you like, or a combination thereof. I'm going to stir these in. And in the last, maybe say 10 minutes, we'll add some broccoli. We don't want to add the broccoli too soon because it will get mushy. We don't want that. And the final step is going to be some cornstarch and cold water to thicken this up. And then we're going to put it over rice. And this has been kind of just on low for about 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes. And now we're going to be adding, oops, I don't want that one in there. Now we're going to be adding our broccoli the last few minutes. Stir that in, get that down under. Get some flavors on that as well. And then the final step will be to add some cornstarch in cold water, get it up to a boil, and you're going to add as much cornstarch as, as depending on how much you've cooked here, how much liquid you have. So I probably got two or three tablespoons of cornstarch here. Crank up my fire just to make sure it's boiling. That's what makes this thick. Is the boiling when you're adding the cornstarch and we're gonna put that in and stir along as we go. See, it's starting to thick up already. Perfect, perfect. Looks delicious, and I have to tell you, it tastes delicious. I tasted the broth. Wonderful. Now I'm going to turn this down to low. I can even turn it off for now. 
till I'm ready to start serving. I've got rice cooking. I'm going to have yellow rice. Put this chicken curry over the yellow rice, add some sour cream, and it's delicious. Now we've got it all plated up here. We've got the yellow rice that we made. Here's some chicken, potatoes, cabbage, uh, bell peppers, broccoli is right here. And you know what? We're going to top this off with a little sour cream. That just gives it the best. And here we go with the taste test. And you know what? I'm going to put some of my hot sauce that I make right there. Love this hot sauce. It is so good. There we go. Let's check that out a little. A little sour cream. Some chicken. Look at that. Let's go. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. It is delicious, really is. Oh yeah. If you can take time to make this, you'll be so happy. It just, and it's healthy. And it's got all these vegetables in there. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And that chicken, just so tender, so tender. Look at that. Mm. Yes. Well, folks, I'm going to enjoy this. Finish eating this up make this recipe. Thank you very much. All right, thank you for joining me today for this chicken curry recipe. I hope you try it. Be sure and hit the subscribe button and the bell for notification when the next video comes on. And we appreciate you joining me today. Have a great day.